Hey, what's up guys? I hope you are doing well. I've received a lot of emails um, from people wanting to change textures in a lib4d, so I thought I would address it quickly. It's a little bit confusing, but it's pretty simple. Uh, let's go ahead and open a model up. This is from our events and exhibition 2.0 pack. Let's open up this food truck. All right, so here's our food truck ready for action. Uh, let's say that we want to put your logo or some different imagery on the side of this guy instead of these little uh, pixelated characters. So we're going to need to find the texture. So we're just going to look for the texture that looks like it and delete it. That wasn't it. So let's try side one. Okay, so this is the texture we're looking at. So if we open this up, uh, here's our little characters. Um, so we need to access this texture so we can modify it. The problem is uh, side1.psd, the texture name, this isn't actually on your hard drive or in your finder anywhere. So if you try to search for this, you're not going to be able to find it. And that's what stumps a lot of people. So this texture is actually housed inside the same container as this lib4d with all these models. So if we scroll down, you'll notice that every lib4d has a text folder. Or if you twirl it down over here, uh, we have a text folder right here. And this contains all of the textures related to this lib4d pack. So all we have to do is find this texture inside of this folder. Now this can get a little bit tedious, so you're just gonna kind of scroll through it till you find one. So we have side one, side two, um, I think we were side one. So if we double click this, it's gonna open it up in a picture viewer. So that was a little bit of work. So instead of doing it that way, what you can do is just go to your color channel where the image is and just click edit image. That's gonna do the exact same thing. It's gonna find it in your lib4d and it's gonna open it up in the picture viewer. Now over on the right hand side, we have some information on this image and you'll notice that we have a bunch of different layers. So we need to keep that in mind. So right now we want to open this up in Photoshop, so we need to save it out. So we're going to go to File, Save As, and we're going to save this out as a Photoshop. And right here is that Layers checkbox. You want to make sure that you turn that on if you have layers. And then we'll hit OK. We're going to save that onto our desktop. And now we can go ahead and open that up in Photoshop. So here is our Photoshop um, file. You can see that we have our layers all intact over here and we can turn off our little characters. And now it's just a matter of deciding what you want to be on that food truck. So I have a little texture of fire over here. We'll just drag that on and resize it. So we're gonna have a fire truck. Um, go ahead and apply that transformation and we'll just hit save. So now if we jump back to Cinema 4D and we go back to that color channel, we can't actually reload this image now because it's still referencing the one in the lib4d. We need to load up the one on our desktop that we just modified. So we're going to load that guy and there you go. Now we have fire on the side of our truck. You can put whatever you want on the side there. So that's it. All you have to do is find your texture in your uh, your channel, wherever it is, and then just click Edit Image, save that out on your desktop, open that in Photoshop, and make whatever modifications you want, and then reload it back into Cinema 4D. So it's really basic. Um, it's just a little bit confusing if you don't know how it works. So I hope that helps you guys out. As always, thank you guys so much for checking out the Pixel Lab, and we'll talk to you next time.